Hello and welcome to So Swiss Game Box. Thank you for stopping by the channel. I hope your day has been wonderful, great, and bright wherever you are. Now, let's continue our adventures in Doki Doki Literature Club. Hell yeah! Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? I have something extra planned today. So if everyone could come sit at the front of the room? Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Ah, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We are going to keep it simple, okay? We won't need much more than a few decorations. Sayuri has been working on posters, and I have designed some pamphlets we can give out during the event. Okay, that's great and all. But that doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. Ah, sorry. I thought you heard about it already. We are going to be performing. P performing? I got stage fright, I can't perform? Hell no! Performing? P um, Monica? Yeah, we are going to be having a poetry performance. Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is, we are also going to let anyone else come up and recite poems too. Sayuri is putting it on all the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. <laughs> Sayuri, who has been coloring a poster, holds it up for us to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't... You didn't already start putting those posters up, did you? Eh, well, I did. Do you really think it's that bad of an idea? Well, no. It's not a bad idea. But I didn't sign up for this, you know. There is no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. I, I agree with Natsuki. I could never in my life do something like that. Imagining it, Yuri shakes her head in fear. Guys... No, Sayuri. I understand where they are coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared their poems with anyone until just a couple days ago? It's a lot to ask for them to recite their poems out loud to a whole room full of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that. Ah, Monica's disappointed. So, I'm sorry. Hmm. But, I still think we should give it our best. We are the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. If we start the event and each put on a good performance, then it will inspire others to do the same. And the more people who perform, the better we will be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Yeah! It's about expressing your feelings, being intimate with yourself, finding new horizons, and having fun. That's right. And it's those reasons that we are all in this club today. Don't you want to share that with others? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? To inspire people, huh? Uh, I... I don't know. I know you do. I know we all do. And if it all takes and if all it takes is standing in front of the room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. Hmm. Um. 
Natsuki and Yuri remain silent. Sayuri looks worried. <sighs> I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree with Monica. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Sayuri and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. The least we can do is help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but... Hmm... It looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. Uh, okay, fine. I guess I'll just... I guess I'll just have to get it over with. Alright. Phew. Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? Yuri dejectedly glances around at everyone else's expected faces. <sighs> I guess I don't really have a choice. <laughs> That's everyone. You're the best, Yuri. This club is seriously going to be the death of me. Oh gosh. You'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. N n no way! Monica, this is too sudden. Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Oh, no. Don't worry. I'll start off to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. Can I go next? <laughs> of course. Now, let's see. Monica flips through her notebook to the specific poem she has in mind for herself. She then stands behind the podium. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. Ahem. Monica begins reciting her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her inflection is pristine and beautiful at the same time. She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Is this something she's done before, or is she simply a natural? I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Sayuri looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica finishes the recitation. The four of us applaud. Clap, 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 clap. Monica takes a breath and smile. That... that was so good, Monica! <laughs> Thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Sayuri? Uh, I'll go next. Wow! Yuri's fired up all of a sudden! Yuri clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Keeping her head down, she walks quickly over to the podium. This poem is called... Yuri anxiously glances at each of us. You can do it, Yuri! Hell yeah! It... It's called... After Image of the Crimson Eye. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she so suddenly putting in so much effort? As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Her quivering words transform into the sharp syllable of a fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists and turns in its structure, 
that she en enunciates with perfect timing. This must be a rare glimpse into the warning fire Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. Suddenly, she finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back into reality and glances around her as if she bewildered even herself. I? It's up to me to save the situation. I'm the first to start clapping or applauding. Hell yeah, Yuri! You did well! Hell yeah! Everyone joins me afterward and we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. It's not that we didn't want to applaud for her, but we were caught so off guard that we must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes back into her seat. Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. Hmm. Looks like Yuri is down for the count. Okay. I guess I'm next then. Sayuri hops out of her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. This one's called My Meadow. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, I giggled. <laughs> Sayuri. It's a lot harder than I thought. How did you guys do it so easily? Uh. Try not to think of it like you're reciting to other people. Imagine you're reciting it to yourself, like in front of a mirror or in your own head. It's your poem, so it will come out the best that way. I see, I see. Okay then. Sayuri begins her poem. Somehow, it feels like her sound voice was made as a perfect match. The poem isn't aimlessly cheery like Sayuri is. It's serene and bittersweet. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it come from Sayuri's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. Maybe this is what Sayuri meant when she said she likes my poems. It's like I get to reach more deeply into someone I thought I knew through and through. Sayuri finishes and we applaud. I did it! Good job, Sayuri! <laughs> Even Susumi liked it. I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? It came out nicely, Sayuri. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. But it might be that other poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. Eh? I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. They might need a little more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's, well, I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do it in front of everyone. <laughs> then, next time, I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenges you a little more. We don't have much time before the festival, you know. Okay. Now, who's next? Natsuki? Hmm. Don't make me go before so sweet. It's not like I can compare to you guys anyway. Might as well let so sweet lower everyone's standards a little before I have to do it. Natsuki? It's fine, it's fine. I'll just have to do it the manly way. I might as well get it over with. But it's not like I have much of a selection in what I read. I'll just have to go with what I wrote for today. I stand up and step in front of the podium. 
Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. Oh gosh! All eyes on me! God damn it, I'm so nervous! I reset my poem. With more force and power to it! Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put energy into it. Come on, me! You have to put more power into it! Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyway. Sorry, I'm not really as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. That's something that will improve over time though. Yeah, maybe. Alright then. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. Natsuki begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. The poem is called... It's called... W why are you all looking at me? Because you're presenting? Hmm. <laughs> anyway, the poem is called Chump. Natsuki takes a breath. Once she starts reciting the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. While she's still a little unenthused, whatever that word means, her poem has a rhythm and rhyme to it. It's Natsuki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The words feel like they bounce up and down, as if giving life to the poem. Natsuki finishes, and everyone applauds. She hops back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You'd better not make me do that again. Ah, uh, well... Do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of other people will be way easier. I can put on whatever face I want for other people. But when it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. That's a surprise, Natsuki. I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so... Well, I guess in that case... You won't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope that you all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what you will be reciting. Jeez! I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. I have to look up Yosushima again, go through the haikus and everything. That's fine too. It doesn't have to be your own. I am already pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all of this effort for the club. It makes me really happy. Ah, uh, yeah. No problem. School! <coughs> Sorry. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. I know the festival is coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we will finish planning tomorrow, and then we will have the weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day. I can't wait. I can do this. I can do this. Alright. I stand up. There is no way I will be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sayuri and Monica. But I'll do my best to get through this. If it's for the sake of the club and impressing Monica, 
then I'll have to do my best. Ready to go, Sayuri? Yep. Look at you two. Always going home together like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, guys. Well, to be honest, all of you are adorable. To me. Don't make such a big deal out of it. It must be a little nice, though. Well... Uh, how am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, so sweet. You don't have to say it. Whatever. Let's go already. I walk home with Sayuri once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, Sayuri is being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, Sayuri! Hmm. Sorry, I was spacing out. Ah, no wonder. Um... I was thinking about something from earlier. Like how we get to... I, I mean... Sayuri fumbles with her words. So, let's just say that one day, Yuri asked to walk home with you. Huh? What would you do? What kind of a question is that? You're kind of putting me on the spot here. <laughs> well... Oh... I wanna... I wanna impress Yuri more. But also, I can't just leave Sayuri. I don't know. But it's gonna be Yuri's first time walking home, so... Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with Yuri. Sayuri, please don't get this the wrong way. Walking home with Yuri, huh? Why does the thought of that make my heart pound? Doki 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 doki. I mean, given how hard it is for her to socialize, I would feel awful turning her down, so... Isn't she so beautiful and smart? That has nothing to do with what I just said. <laughs> you admitted it. Jeez. There's not even any point in speculating something that's never going to happen. Well... Maybe, but I just like to think about it. It's not long before you won't need me anymore, you know? Oh, no. What do you mean by that, Sayuri? What do you mean by that? Need you? Sayuri! I can't figure out how you're seeing things in your head right now. Hell no! I'm not gonna... Not need you? You're my you're my friend. Sorry. Everyone is different. Nobody in the club is a replacement for you. Yeah, well said me. Hmm. If you say so. The conversation trails off, and I'm left feeling awkward. But it was kind of her fault for trapping me. With such a weird question. I just can't lie to her. But if there is something that makes her happy, I would hate to take that away from her. That's why I said there is no point in speculating. Then again, the festival only a few days away. Who knows what will happen in that time. Ooh. Damn, what does Sayuri mean by not need her anymore? Ah oh, no, I just hope it's nothing bad. Anyway, well, it's already past 30 minutes and I have to end the episode right here. Thank you everyone for watching. Please take care and stay safe. I hope to see you guys again in the next episode. Bye bye